Hello. Brandon, where are we at? What's happening in this video? We are back at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort to eat at Three Bridges Bar and Grill. And However, spoiler alert, spoiler we've alert, eaten at Three Bridges Bar and Grill. <laughs> this is only the second time ever since we have been vlogging for 5,000 years. This is the f second time where this is going to be the legendary brief, hashtag brief, hashtag debrief, all in one, because we've already eaten there. Yes, we already ate and we did not vlog in there we because meant to. we were going to, but you all know that we really try to be as respectful as possible when we're in a dining room with other guests and this time <laughs> the seats were so close yeah that it was nigh near impossible without being beyond rude yeah beyond rude yep. and just did not feel comfortable for everyone we were already i think everybody was already uncomfortable because we were so close to each other yeah so and the people that sat, an audible yeah no, no yeah the people that sat next to us no issues with them and there is sarah might you maybe got footage after they left however the footage looks if she inserts it here i, I don't know before and after they oh gotcha yeah um maybe 11 inches between us there's a little barricade but yeah, it only comes like yeah um we could hear their entire conversation they could hear ours had we been vlogging even with our mics on which we're not wearing our mics now they're in the bag. Uh, we apologize. Hopefully you can hear us. Usually we wear mics nowadays. So if this is your first video you ever stumbled this across, normal. this is not normal. Um, but anyway, so well, we did eat at Three Bridges. We did. Around. And I was going to say, it's a good thing we ended up not vlogging too. Even at the end, there was another family that came in afterwards because yep. the table before just got drinks. And they came in with kiddos. And the kid was over the ledge and he was like right next to me. He's like, hello. Yeah. So you would <laughs> you, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> we joke a lot, but we try to leave others out of the video. We definitely, barring a far shot, we try not to have any children in our videos. Yeah, we, blur, so we try to blur as much as, possible, much as we can. So it would not have been possible. The kid was right there. So. The way that they were seating at the restaurant was, I think, just because of timing and the spacing and the servers that they had. So they were putting mm -hmm. people really close, and this just was extra close. So Speaking of our server, can we get a huge shout out to cast member server Carol? I Carol think. is awesome. Carol's awesome. Carol has been at Three Bridges for a really long time. So Carol recognized us, and she was like, allergies. Yep. <laughs> we were here. Her so yeah she's really awesome super helpful very on top of special dietary needs working with the chef and yeah just a great cast member so can we jump into the meal because we took a lot of footage and sarah shall insert it as we talk yeah well we were thinking back we haven't vlogged at three bridges in about three and a half years i think still watch our old videos because why not even if they're out of date and all that stuff is wrong at this point yeah the menu is completely wrong still watch them give us that thumbs up yeah so <laughs> The menu has totally changed since we were here last, which is one reason we wanted to check it out. It's also still a nice time of year. So eating outside, Easy. which is Three Bridges is covered, but it is kind of alfresco dining. Everything is open air. So if it's a hotter time of year, it might not be as pleasant to dine there, but it was a nice, nice, lovely night. And we wanted to check out the menu. Yeah. So let's jump into appetizers. Okay. Well, Brandon, what did we get? You don't know? We got guacamole. Yeah, we got and, a guacamole kick. And cheese sauce. It felt, we got Velveeta cheese, everyone. Yeah, so previously they had a really lovely gluten-free queso that had Oaxaca cheese and Manchango cheese, and it was just chef's kiss. Amazing. And it was so good. It was something that if you can have dairy, we would always recommend. They or even switched, minimal dairy. Yeah, they switched up the dip, and it's now a white queso dip with chorizo on it, and... We both agreed it tasted like Velveeta cheese dip with some ground yeah. uh, chorizo on it. It was okay. I did not like it. Yes, yeah, Sarah didn't like it. I thought it was okay. Um, we will not get it again. It, yeah. It's it's not a it's not a recommended. No, just go to Maya Grill in the same. Maya Grill's in the same building. In the same well. Well. The I, next building over. Okay. But go to Maya Grill and just get their queso if you can have dairy. So it yeah, would be a better option. Yeah, and then the guacamole, you really liked it. I thought it was. There's, I, I have a. Uh, you like tahini now? Yeah. Here's the thing, guacamole was good. Sometimes really good, but if when you scooped your chip in there, if you got, is it called tahini? I've tahini. never. If you got the tahini, it was a home run. There it is. Hashtag without the tahini because the tahini wasn't through the whole thing. Then no. it was just, I'd say good. And like my girl puts tahini on like their queso and stuff like uh, that, okay. which is super tasty. Um, in this case, 
I thought the guacamole just seemed like it was a bunch of mashed avocado with some tahini on it, which I'm not mad about. Maybe it was. I, I, I like avocado and I like tahini. The best. But it was not spicy. It didn't have a lot of other accompaniments in it. So That's it, fair. it ranks low on my guacamole. Okay, list. but let me ask you this. It was fine. Would you get it again if we needed an appetizer? I guess. I'd probably okay. go for the vegan corn dip here, but you don't like oh, corn, so. Oh, yeah, corn's disgusting. You don't oh, like regular corn. It's, it's filthy. So, except that's pop, what I would pick. corn with butter. Yeah, I would pick, they still have the same vegan corn dip here, and that is gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan, and super delicious. I would pick that instead, but if if, if your friend Brandon here was like, I want guacamole, I'd be like, fine, we can get it. Best guacamole on property right yeah. now is still Rose, Rose Mexicano Mexican, yeah. level three. Because they have that's three levels, for, yeah. For all of you. <laughs> um, they call it level one, two, three. We like level three. Yeah, so, entrees. I had the, th what's it called now? It used the to call the It's the Three Bridges Signature Burger. It's still, still called, called that. It's just a oh. totally different burger. It was still really good. One of the better burgers on property. Not the best burger on property. It used to be in the top two. Remember back in the oh, day? Oh, gosh, it used to be so um, good. Nothing wrong with it. Really good. Nice and soft. The bun, the meat cheese mm -hmm. everything so yeah i i don't know how the footage is going to look here or anything but uh, i recommend it that's it i'd recommend it next time mm -hmm. i want to get the steak though i want i'm glad you love the paprika fries which oh, those paprika fries are the delicious. fries were amazing fries were absolutely amazing those are still a 10 out of 10 still a 10 out of 10 number three or third best fries on property following sci-fi dine-in and yachtsman slash yachtsman steakhouse slash cruise cup cruise cup mm -hmm. Yeah, that, it looked good. The fries, brands that were amazing. I think you can't go wrong with the paprika fry. I will say that I was really glad I didn't get the burger because it had like a Gouda cheese sauce on it and it just looked greasy and not my jam okay. today. I ended up getting um, a Thai red curry bowl with, with grilled fish and grilled shrimp looked and good. some grilled bok choy and some rice and it was phenomenal the best thing we had for the dinner i was raving about it it just felt flavorful Wish delicious I had it. It looked great it everything looked great. about it was delicious i would 100 percent get it again it was a good size not too much not too little um everything was very well cooked it wasn't it had spice to it but it wasn't like it's was like disney spice which is what our, our server said which means it has a little bit of flavor but not it's not actually like it's not thai red curry that's like super gotcha. dry hot um, but it was good. I would I would definitely get that again. Um, super delicious. And then we got churros. Churros. One of only two, two. One of only two places in all of Disney World, as far as the eye can see, that has gluten-free churros. Yeah. Nomad Lounge at the Animal Kingdom, if you have not gone there, mm -hmm. has the gluten-free churros. And then here, also, it is gluten-free but does contain dairy. They use Cup for Cup here, and Cup for Cup has milk powder in it, so it is not going to be a dairy-free option or modifiable. Um, so just know that going in. They don't have the churros marked on the menu, but they are available gluten-free. Ask, ask for them. Ask yeah. for them. Ask for them. They are still made in a dedicated yep. fryer. Um, a dedicator? The, dedicated fryer. Did I say dedicated? I don't know. I can't wait to watch this. We're going to keep we'll it going. I think Sarah said dedicator. I'm really that sounds tired. like a, a Decepticon. <laughs> <laughs> dedicator, transform. All right. Into Charles. Uh, I'm very tired. They all spark. <laughs> Does everyone remember <laughs> Transformers? I know. I love the Transformers ride at Universal. Okay, anyway, moving on. Moving on. Charles Delicious. You said you thought they were the best version of the churros that you have had in a long time. These are the best churros I've had in a long, I'm not, they're really good. Brandon they're is right not on. a, chur yes, third person. Uh, Brandon is not a, a churro fan um, in general. I know that's shocking to a lot of people. These are still the best churros I've ever had. They were very well fried. They were very flavorful. Good seasoning on them. I very much enjoyed. They came with three different sauces, a caramel tequila sauce, which I did not like, uh, there was a mango chamoy sauce, which I really liked. That was super tangy and a little bit sweet, a little bit tanginess. I liked that one a lot. And then there was a Mexican like hot chocolate sauce. That was pretty okay. good too. All right. But, uh, and I, I can't believe we're done. <laughs> That's our video, everyone. Bye. No. Well, I would say maybe <laughs> no, if no, you no. are thinking about going to Three Bridges, we would definitely recommend it. It's kind of a hidden gem. So yeah, any last minute? I have one last comment. Oh, I was just going to say, would you or would you not recommend? Three Always Bridges? recommend Three Bridges. I think it used to be better. Carol, our server, was amazing. Um, Phenomenal. But I think overall it used to be better, but I'd still recommend it, except one thing, Sarah. 
Okay. And we talked about this. Is it the only restaurant on Disney property where is not named? There's no, I just burped everyone. There's no sign for the name. Yeah, it just says Villa Del Lago. It's very confusing. It's very confusing. It's yeah, very you confusing. don't, it's a hidden gem. It Literally hidden. Gem. Hashtag hidden. It's true. Is that's, that it? That's it. <laughs> we froze everyone. So that Food is it. Was good. The food was Service good. Service was great. Yep. Still recommend it. Still, Still recommend it. Yep. Just know going in, the CD might be a little dizzy. Yep. But other than that, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon. You continue to make this world go round. And thank you to our subscribers who also continue to make this world go round. Round the sun, everyone. Thank you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, it really helps. We just talked to someone about this. Mm -hmm. Just subscribe. Hit the bell. It's free. Thumbs up. It's free. Just do it for us. Do it for you. But with that, are you ready to transform and roll out? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Autobots, let's go, everyone. Bye. See you later. Bye.